Okay, so uh, back home from the shoot of Chandra. I just wanted to talk over some of the stuff we did um, and why we did it because I didn't do much on set. So uh, I'm going to talk this through and then shots of behind the scenes will appear and then we can you can have a look at what we did. Um, so the first scene we did was out in the open with two lights, one key light with a beauty dish at about half power or quarter power and then the other one was at a quarter all the time the key the key was going between half and quarter and the, the full edge light was going is always at a quarter all the time the recycle times are quite good on these um, so you can kind of fire between shots very quickly and we sat it down we got the light to in line with the legs towards the face and then the second we fill light we put um, aiming towards her face just to fill a bit more because it was a bit shaded because the beauty dish was quite full. Uh, so we finished the first scene. It's very bright out there. We were shooting F, I think F5.6, ISO 160, and then we've got flash on half power, which is very bright, but it will overpower the sun. So without the flash, it's very dark on the model, and then the background's exposed, and then with the flash, it fills. So we've got two, the beauty dish is filling as key, and then the other one's just to kick a light from the side. Then we changed outfits. We went to where there's a little bit of water, we shot some portraits, also direct top sun, um, with the beauty dish almost eye level with her, so you can see it fills under her, her eyebrows. So almost eye level, we shot, um, I think it was lower, it was 8th eighth, eighth power on high speed sync, because all these settings are very, very fast shutter speed. We shot with the beauty dish, um, eye level for the portraits at about quarter power, high speed sync, all of them were high speed sync. And then lastly we moved into the shade because the shade's always easier to handle. It's just out there was not a lot of shade. So we had to kind of find a tree and kind of shoot into the distance, which is so much easier to handle without the shadows from your eyebrows and stuff to try and fill in that as well. So uh, we had one flash with a beauty dish. Um, I think it was about quarter power. And not too far from the model, I can't remember the distance, but you'll see it on the video. Very easy to handle in the shade. You should always try being in the shade. Um, but the idea was to show you that you can overcompensate and and overpower the sun with strobes if if needed. You can overpower the sun and then get a strobeless looking shot out of it. If you want some of these raw files, please comment um, and then send me an inbox. But comment first and then send me an inbox saying you would like them. Um, send me an inbox with the email address. I wouldn't put your email address in the comments. But um, I'll send you some of the raws to play with if you'd like. Um, all the photos were done on my 5D3. It was done with young newer triggers and then the strobes were many FN600 uh, strobes. Um, the behind the scenes video was shot with the Canon G5X, little bit of cutaways with my 5D3 and then the, the GoPro was doing time lapses. So um, yeah, if you have any ideas or any questions just let us know.